Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Uh, we are still on Jedi. I said last time that we were going to go down here and check out this little area, because uh, there's, like, stuff down here that we haven't found. Like, there's, like, chests and shit. So I kind of wanted to come down here. And, uh, look, but there's, like, this, like, not like it's like, blocked off. I'm trying to, like, figure out how we get back down there, but... Anyway. Um, so, yeah, welcome back. Uh, if you... Uh, I have to say, there are people who have... Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> I've seen a... We had a few comments on the videos, and uh, I highly appreciate those. Uh, if, you leave, if you're leaving comments, please go ahead and leave more. Um... See ya. Uh, I'm gonna do this by myself. Um, but yeah, if you'd love to comment, please continue to leave more. Uh, leave your thoughts. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, yada yada. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, how the fuck? Penitent Chambers? Yeah, maybe we gotta... Maybe we should fast travel to that. I love reading comments. Um, on the videos, we've had more likes, more comments. It's actually been really nice. There's been a lot of growth and more subscribers. So it's uh, it's really nice to see everybody enjoying the content, even if it's just a few. I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, and you know what? We got like a... I think I got like over a thousand videos on my channel. I have a lot of playthroughs, so if you're new to the channel and stuff, uh, you know, it's nice to uh, to see... Where's the penitent chambers? This one? Yeah. If I can't really find a way down, then we'll just say fuck it and leave. It's whatever. Um, you know, we've done a lot of fucking around. So, it's whatever. Uh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like this isn't... See, I, I just can't tell. <clears throat> and that was a mistake. Yep. Alright, so... Oh, uh, no! No, this is gonna take me down... Yeah, this... No, this is gonna take me down where I wanna go. Alright. It's, uh... Guess let's find out, shall we? Oh, hey, Marin. You're just down here. Well, what the hell is this? I didn't notice this door before. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh, I'm mostly just, like, looking for the chest, really. It's kind of... It's really what I want. <laughs> I honestly... Oh, there's one up here. No shit. Uh, I honestly kind of wish that there was, like, a... Like, a, you know, like a highlight type of thing. Oh, the Wanderer Colors. Oh, nice. You know, like a like a little like ping for uh, like the map, like in the areas that you're in, to like maybe highlight collectibles where they are, or whatever. Okay. Alright, so I don't know about anything else here. 
we're probably going to have to move forward. This, I don't think there's really any way back at this point. That's just, comp that's just down. I mean, in all honesty, I, I feel like I checked these areas pretty, pretty well, so... I don't know where to go from here. Oh, is it in here? Oh yeah, it's up here, I swear. Is there anything behind us? No. That's the meditation point. In behind us here, no. The music's nice though, it's a nice soothing track. I just, <clears throat> I fail to see how I've missed anything, to be honest. I mean, I'm pretty good at, like, finding most collectibles in games. I mean, if you've watched any of my other playthroughs, you know that I'm pretty good at, at that shit. See, they're like, and there's an essence. Like, How? See, because we're in, like, a whole different area now. Alright, well. Um. Because all this is... All this is collected, so... kind of confusing I mean I could always look it up we may do that later but right now I think we're gonna fast travel all the way back to the veiled hangar <clears throat> and we're gonna continue with the story well, we'll uh, I, I may come back and like do some of that shit off camera later on but I'm not gonna do it and waste all your time so we'll just continue forward with the story I thought there was one on the other side, too. The first thing I'm gonna do... Y'all can fucking wait. I'm gonna go talk to... What's-her-face? The, uh... Shop lady. I hold many curios for you, Outlander. Alright, with 17 scrolls... Um... Yes, that suits you, noble one. Shed of paint. I kind of want all these, like... I'm gonna go with this one. That Devil paint, soft you. leather. Shed of paint. Along with this. Thank you. <clears throat> the knowledge you've saved is invaluable. Uh... Difference pommel. Can't even, like, I can't really even tell on this thing. Serenity, assembly. Let's do the Sounds serenity. The wisdom you've recovered is a boon to us all. A remarkable piece. That's kind of cool. Um. I'll do that. Stay curious. 
Oh yeah, and there's a table back here I can use. Right, let's check that. Let's check that out, so shall we? Clears my head. Okay. Um. So I didn't buy anything else from this. Uh. Let's see. This is the Serenity one. Attachment. You know what I should do? I should definitely, uh, we should, like, change these to, like, like, simple colors so that we can actually kind of, like, see them. All right. So now that we've done that, uh, let's see. Uh, patience, diligence, serenity, attachment. That's pretty cool. With the, uh, oh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's do that. Uh, let's do, oh, the justice is like a katana. That's pretty sick. Serenity. Justice, scrapyard. Well, let me change. Let me change this one. I kind of want the justice for that, and then uh, attachment. Well, what matters is the double bladed. I always want it to kind of be like double bladed forward, I guess. No. I feel like the Rebel Hero one kind of like matches that. <clears throat> but I do actually dig that as well. Blue the Hermit. I really always like, I always love the Obi Wan Pommel. All right, we're going to do. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want to, like, make this different? I mean, that, that actually kind of, like, fits. Let's do the, let's do the Jar of T'Pol for the, for this, because it actually kind of goes with... It actually, it has that, like, square shape. So. Yeah, with, the, with this. Um, change the pommel on this. Holy shit. God damn. I actually kind of want that. And then maybe we'll change the hermit one. Holy hell. Let's do the Rebel Hero. Let's go with that. Alright. So yeah, that'll be the Cross Guard. The Double Bladed will be like that. And it actually, actually works pretty well, to be honest. Alright, I fuck with that. Okay, so primary. Let's see. Worn metal. Pitted alloy. 
chromium, it's chromium, amber, amber copper. That's actually pretty fire. Unique metal. Good texture on this. Oh yeah, the, oh it's the best car. That's right. Um, so we have imperial. Solid option. Hard plastoid. It's just kind of different colors. Soft leather. Hard leather, unique non metal. Oh, yeah, that's all these. Rebel paint. Rebel uh, orange is kind of cool. Uh. I think I kind of want to do this hammered copper, to be honest. Let's do that. And then... I kind of want something that, like, sticks out, right? Maybe. See, because I kind of went with the the fabric. Um, oh, they have silk. They have, so they have cloth wraps. Oh, that's really cool. Silk. Yeah. See, I like the. I kind of like the orange silk, but the violet silk's pretty cool too. I think I like the violet accent. Uh, let's start with the secondary first. Do I want to go with, like, white? Do I want to go with something that's, like, black? I feel like, white's pretty cool. Um, do I want to do it in something, like, non-metals? Maybe we'll do, like, pearl. I like, always like the pearl color. Actually, let me see what this looks like. Mm, no. Nah. Well, we could always do that, but no, nah, I'm going to do the pearl. All right, then accent. There's not much to the accent, to be honest. I think maybe we'll just do pearl on that as well. And then for the blade, uh, should we do a magenta blade since we have like the violet or should we do purple? Maybe we should do purple since we have the violet blade. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, BD's looking good for now, so I think we're fine on that. All right. Oh, the sound too. And it sounds like a purple saber. I have a, uh, I have a purple. I have a couple. Well, the purple saber from Galaxy's Edge uh, has that sound to it. Um, the Mace Windu saber I have does not. Jedi and Night Sister together again. Yes, we are. Oh, give contact to Seer. This is splendid technology you've unearthed, Cal. What do you make of these devices? Jedi. And they must have been profound. <laughs> Jedi. You can tell all that just from looking at it? We tend to write ourselves onto our machines. They can represent the best or the worst of us. Yeah, that's why I make holocrons. Machine, old friend. Woo! <laughs> Cal, BD, well timed. I have another location you might wish to explore in the southern desert. Oh. I think we might have found that one. <laughs> that was amazing. Wasn't it, Master Cordova? It most certainly was. Well, I... I am delighted you have experienced... You saw it before I could tell you about it, so that's a shame. Don't worry about things here, Cal. Thanks, Bode. Bodie. Here you go, Seer. I got your codes. Seer. The guy's dead, but here's your codes. We couldn't save our Mayas. But he gave his life for this. I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Cal. And the Empire? They did not track us. Hey, Scrapper. No, but they're out there fucking around. Sure. You made it back in one piece. 
I just well, talked to you. Did you find a way across the abyss? No. But you may have, Cal. Boat and I were able to find some interesting data in the archives. Let's show them what we dug up. Turns out Bode's useful for something other than, Centuries like, shooting ago, people. The Republic established the colony on Kobo to study a stellar anomaly known as the Abyss. Santari Kree led the research team. That sea with them. Early attempts to navigate the Abyss ended in disaster. The Republic was on the verge of abandoning the project. And then guess who volunteers to fly in alone and discovers a planet on the other side? Dagon. Dagon. I wrote this game. I'm, I, I wrote it. Kree invented the Abyss Compass to guide others safely to Tannel. The Republic established a settlement. The Jedi built a temple. <clears throat> Just like you said, Cal. Regrettably, a time of peace and prosperity was disrupted when Outer Rim Marauders invaded. I saw them too. But how'd they get across the Abyss? They must have stolen a compass. Don't worry, we won't be so careless. Overwhelmed, the Republic abandoned Tannel, and the Jedi Council ordered Kree to destroy the compass. Dagangera refused and rebelled against the order. Oh, so he has one. That is a Gendai. They do not often ally with other species. Well, that's what he is? Ravis the Gendai? So the order sent Jedi he's gonna, he's gonna Gendai. I'm gonna, he's gonna be Gen dead when, okay, I'm done. Killing other Jedi. But, Centauri said He turned his crystal red. He's kind of a Sith now. Maybe he is young Jedi. Despite my efforts, those compasses you brought me were beyond repair. However, records indicate that three were unaccounted for. So you're saying one might still be out there? Yes, and Dagon sent his army to look for it. <laughs> I'd ask you to stay and help us, but I recognize that look. What look? Hope. <clears throat> that planet could be a haven for those who stand against the Empire. Are you coming with us? I mean, Grease can make room on the Mantis. For all of you. No. This place needs me. Yeah, she's not going to join us, but... Cordova? I'm sorry, my friend. No, he's staying too. My place is on Jeddah with... Bode's going to come, though, more than likely. Let me prepare a data stick so you'll have access to our research wherever your journey takes you. Let me guess. You're staying too. Of course. When we first met, I thought that what we shared was... unique. Survivors. Fighting together against the Empire who took our families. Yes. You helped me realize I wasn't alone. As did you. But there is a galaxy full of people who have suffered as we have. It's as you said. Perhaps you have found a sanctuary for them. Perhaps. If we can get to it. I will join you. Besides, it's been far too long since I've made Grease's hair stand on end. Yay. See you back on the Mantis night, sister. Hell yeah, she's coming along. The Abyss Compass. The device invented by Centauri Kree to navigate the Kobo Abyss. The compass uses the coordinates obtained during Dagon Gera's uncharted flight to Tantalor. The Jedi Council ordered all Abyss Compasses destroyed after the Nihil raided Tantalor, believing they must have stolen one in order to cross the Abyss. <coughs> the Nihil. The Nihil is a faction of elusive and powerful marauders, emerged as one of the greatest threats during the High Republic era. Able to navigate hyperspace in ways others could not, they caused mayhem across the Republic's fragile frontier, even launching a surprise attack on Tantalor. Oh, you can do, like, intro to the High Republic. I didn't know that. <laughs> Hold on. In the face of this unique enemy, the Jedi Council ordered a retreat from Tantalor and the destruction of... Uh, always reaching it, choosing instead to focus our resources on repelling the Nihil threat for good. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. 
When the Jedi Council ordered Tantalor and Kobo abandoned, Dag and Garrick could not accept it. Despite Centauri's pro, uh, protestations, he defied the Council. 200 years later, his hatred of the Order reached its conclusion as he bled his lightsaber and swore himself an enemy of the Jedi. So it's a device invented by Centauri creating to navigate the Kobo Abyss. Huh. So, like, is it that's all its use is for? Is for doing that? Uh, okay. So, we're searching for the compass on Kobo. <coughs> we're going back to Kobo again. Back and forth. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, Grease, fire up the engines. We're headed back to Kobo. With us. Go back to Coruscant. Oh! <clears throat> we can go back to Coruscant. We also got a rumor here as well. Should we travel back to Coruscant real quick? Is there anything I wonder that we can do? Coruscant? <laughs> we sure about this? Yeah. The capital of the Empire. I have never been there. Well, welcome. Not so bad. When you're not being shot at. Personally, I think Gal likes stirring up trouble. Maybe there's some intel we missed. Good luck with that. I've got a chores to do. I will mask our approach. <laughs> I think Marin's a little broken. She's just staring over here. She's like, want to see out the window. What are you doing? Oh, he's playing around with a gun. All right, kids, sit down. We're here. Oh, it's cool that we're like we can come back here, though. <clears throat> I was thinking that this planet was only going to be like, like the intro, but oh. My oh, my clothes are all fucked up. Marin's wasted no time in getting comfy on the Manus. Oh uh, yeah, what did she do? Well, for one, she conveniently seems to forget to clean her own dirty dishes. They just sit. She's right standing there, right, right there, on the table, as if to say, "Here, Grace, you clean me." Maybe she hexed them. What? She can do that? <laughs> Maybe you uh. should fit in and do some George BD. <laughs> and beeping ain't chores. Ah, Coruscant. <laughs> If I set up my cantina here, then I'd really be making some credit. And do you think the Bedlam Raiders are bad? Here you'd have to pay protection to crime lords, bribe CSF officers, you name it. But I'd have a neon sign with my name on it. And it's that true. would make Great Grandma Pilu <clears throat> mighty proud. I'm sure she'd already be very proud of you, Grease. Well, you think? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, get out of here and do what you gotta do before the Inquisitorius find us again. You eating okay? Keeping up your strength? Do I look like I'm wasting away? Well, no. I mean, you look fine. Listen, just let me fuss, would you? I appreciate you, Grease, but I'm fine. Might not be able to cook like you, but we were able to find food. Yeah, yeah. I saw what Seer ate. I don't trust a Jedi's definition of food. <laughs> you glad to be back? Yes. It is nice <clears throat> to be traveling again. Grease is a little shaky in the cockpit. Just okay, talking shit about each other right here. Been a while. I hope so. I do not fear death, but I would prefer not to die on the Mantis. It's nothing personal. I kind of wish that they would have had these characters interact while they're talking about each other. I'm planning a new holotactic setup. All these people, oblivious to the war we're fighting. Maybe that's a good thing. For now, perhaps. But what this galaxy needs is a true revolution. You gonna lead it? Wouldn't you like that? Oh, don't worry, Just one so will you come. Know, I never stopped fighting the Empire. It was one of my travel hobbies. It's what I did in my spare time. Of course, sounds fun, but it has a way of making you feel insignificant. Yeah, no kidding. 
It's the wealth. The sheer amount of credits flowing in and out of these streets, and right into the pockets of the politicians at the top. Most people are on the outside, even if they don't know it. Maybe someday we can change that. All this High Republic business has got me thinking. About what? All those years ago, people had the exact same worries we did. Fear of the future. The need to protect one's family. Times change. People don't. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, well, if you could like see back in time real far. Good place to disappear. Easy to get lost. And easy to lose yourself. Spoken like a man who almost did. Are you talking about yourself again? You don't know the half of it, Kestis. Wonder what I would have been if I'd lived during the High Republic. All right. Well, see you guys. Okay. Well, uh, there's a chest here somewhere and treasure. So I guess we can maybe like look around a little bit. Oh, there's a treasure. Priorite. Wonder what this will fetch a dumbest shop. I wonder where the chest is. does. Hello? Chest? Hey, have you guys seen a chest around here? You guys never answered my question. Is there a chest around here? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, I haven't found it. Can I do that to these other doors? I didn't really, I don't think I really went up to them. No. I think I can. God, that bothers the living hell out of me. go I wonder what we can get into now that we have like more skills I mean oh well all the all the green shield things we can get into hi hey any uh you know how to open this door there's a robot in here oh I oh yeah, that's right I need to I need whatever that is Huh? 
Goodbye. Alright, so, see, once again, there's, like, another, I guess this is just all part of the same thing, I guess? Oh, because, yeah, now we're here. That's right, we gotta go back through where the gonk droid is. Sorry, buddy. He's still stuck after all this time. Okay, well, now we got something new. What's in here? Just here as well. I need to clear my mind. Let's move. So we can't go back out this way. So we have to go this way. Oh, and there's a chest. Here we go. Sucks to be all of you. Alright, let's see. Uh, so we have a... Uh, 
Ah, eh, shit. There we go. Barely. Made it through, but made it through nonetheless. Another blocked off area. Oh. No, it's just it's just like a little room. Here we go. Oh nice. Skill point. Alright, so this door we still can't open either. I am, but you're not. Like, hello? No fucking clue what we're, where we're going. So what was this? Like a... like a shortcut totally confused as to what the point is of that. So, there's a force tear somewhere in here. Uh, there is... Let's see. So, we have two areas. There's a force tear at the rooftops. Here, there is another chest. Data banks. There's another essence and another treasure. Yeah, I think probably, like, I'll have to come back to a lot of this. Like, off camera to collect it. Bye. All right, so we'll just, uh... Bye. Oh! Once we get to the, uh... Meditation point. We'll uh, I think we'll grab a skill. Let's stop here, and then we'll fast travel back to where the manis is, and we'll uh, we'll just leave. So, okay, double bladed, charge reflection. Let's do that.
I do have enough for another. Uh, another, but I don't know if there's anything I want. Oh, the radial push. Let's do that. Um, it was also precision of aid. I don't remember how to do a precision of aid. Yeah, I think we can do that. I'll have to look at how to do that, though. Fast travel. Landing pad. Alright, so now we'll just go back to Kobo. And we'll just, I guess, continue forward. Uh, we can do the rumored stuff. Uh, all right, everybody, let's go. Hmm. Headed to Kobo's finest watering hole. The mantis has changed. Oh, yeah, Cal and Boat, they ain't exactly the cleaning types. I cleaned this morning. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> that, that's on me. Marin, I didn't know you were coming. Hey, maybe I'll pick up some scar steaks. Why'd you join back up anyways? Seer and I believe Tantalor could be a refuge for those persecuted by the Empire. Persecuted by the Empire, huh? Gotta get crowded. Was, uh... Arriving at our destination. Was it P uh, Peely? The woman that we found? That, like, grows the plants? She should be back here. Welcome to Kobo. Cal, Cal, so glad you're back. You missed Oh God, Turgo, what do you want? Did something happen? The Raiders paid us another visit. Took a shine to that droid you found. See? They oh took boy. Her, Cal carried her right out. She's been droid napped. My saloon better be okay, Turgle. I think you brought this down on us. I'm innocent, Mr. Grease. Promise. Dragon <laughs> sent them. He's after Tantalor. There must be something more to Z than we realized. Something scrambled up in her memory bank. We have to rescue her. Once he gets what he wants, he'll scrap her for sure. It won't be easy to get her back. The raider base is in the swamp. They gutted an old Luker Hulk battleship from the Clone Wars. We've seen it. Means they got a lot of firepower. As do we. She's right. Now's our time to move. I like where this is going. They already have what they came for. They're back at the fortress feeling safe, complacent. They'll never see it coming. Maybe not. But if you're wrong, then they'll be looking for payback. Not to worry. I will stay here and look after Grease and the others. You sure? I think you two can manage. Just don't let him swim without supervision. Let me know if you need help. Nice sex. <coughs> Name's Mo. <coughs> Marin. All right. I'll scout ahead. Meet you there. All right. Luke or Hulk. Yep. I'm aware. I don't know why they have to do this loading BS. Um. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. Where is? Oh, she's on the roof. Hey, Cal. Got some info that might be useful to you. 
Yeah? Barkeep. You look tired. Take a load off. Hey, Monk. Word is you're planning to rescue my new favorite droid. That's the plan. Well, before you go charging in there like a mud horn through a moisture farm, allow me to give you the lowdown. That raider base is inside a derelict Luker Hulk battleship. Have you ever seen one? A few times. Then you know how deadly those things are. It may be grounded, but that ship is still chock full of defense turrets and reprogrammed battle droids. How do you know all this? I read a lot of it. Listen, just grab Z and skedaddle before the whole hive comes swarming down on you. Hmm? Thanks for the advice, Monk. Be careful out there. All right. It's well. good to see you. We got a lot of customers now. Best selection in the system? Guaranteed. Alright, uh, I got two, so maybe I'll buy a couple. A couple of these. I'll grab this one. Really? Okay. Go on, I'm sure you have places to be. Let's go up to the roof and we'll talk to uh, Billy. Forgot this door is what goes up to the roof. It's going all the way around. Hey! I've cleared another plot for you. Thank you for growing plants to their full potential. Oh, you're welcome. Garden can use some of the new seeds I found. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll plant some uh, some stuff. I guess. All right. Something new for the garden. No doubt Peely has some wisdom about it. Let's see here. Uh... Perfect. Grow. All these kind of along the back. And planted. Okay. Seems like a good place for it. All right, so now we can grow some others. Here's your new home. All these variants would be great. All right, so there we go. Is this the is this the new plot or where is it? Oh, it's this one right here. Let's sow some new All seeds. Right. Oh wow. All right. Uh, let's see here. A new species for the garden. Let's talk to Peely about it. What do you think, BD? Here. Uh, let's like fill it up with these bigger ones. The garden can use your talents. I have one pine fern. Uh, let's do that. Good 
good spot to grow. That one. Okay, the seed is in. There we go. So I'm guessing that, like, this area here... Okay, this is really impressive. I see right. you found a new seed. Plant one, and I'll tell you all about it. So this, like, this area right here, right? And then... That area, the, well, maybe not this one. This area here, that area over there, more than likely, yeah. Hi, Peely. So far, she tell us about a bunch of stuff. Coming home, and this rooftop's energy drew me towards it. You feel a connection to this garden? Yes, we will help each other grow. Looks like you've already started. The vines? Yes, they sprouted overnight, but there's so much more to discover. If you plant new seeds, I'll tell you all about them. But, much like healthy roots, do not overextend yourself. Grow the plants we have, and I'll clear more garden space in due time. All right. You found a jelly spire, I see. It may look flimsy, but they have a strong, fibrous core keeping them steady. So the crimson jelly spire... First developed on a uh, on a planet racked by shifting and volatile climate, its gelatinous exterior evolved to resist extremes of both heat and cold, while its highly durable, fibrous core stem resisted punishing winds and even seismic activity. Collectors found them to be a desirable oddity for a time before growing bored of them, leading to their eventual proliferation around the outer rim. Ooh, a bluebell squish! How fascinating! Its flower has a most unusual scent. Drawn from the moss as it blooms. I find it quite pleasant. Bluebell squish. Uh, is often found in the damp places of the galaxy, drawing moisture from the air around it. However, it can survive in less humid environments by storing liquid in its mossy root sac, which balloons as it grows. Uh, through judi uh, judicious rationing of its stores, the plant can endure on even arid climates like Kobo. Just you wait for that golden light moss to grow. Observe the roots that rise up underneath, helping the flowers to reach nearby light sources. Golden light moss. Upon first seeing a golden light moss, many are convinced that the plant is capable of self-locomotion, owing to the leg-like roots that support the plant's base. This is not entirely untrue. Although the moss cannot move Conventionally, the roots do grow vertically, working in concert with yellow-white blossoms to chase uh, chase the sunlight. Oh, hello. Was that it? Well, what about all the rest of the shit I have? Got some seeds. Let's get them in the ground. See, like spine puff, oh, pine fern, truly great. the tuber maw, cactus ball, fire pineapple. What about all those? You want to tell me about those? All right, well, we can go up here now. Oh, boy. Let's find out what this holds. Tear. Do all I mean using the double blade stance? Supposed to be easy. Oh, 
Yeah, it is just you. Easy. Double blade stance is always my favorite, so. All right, that did it. Okay, so where are we supposed to be headed? Over here, and it's going to lead us into here, I'm guessing. Alright, uh, oh, there's some stuff over here as well. Specifically this. But Hill Falls. So, it's a devastated settlement point. Well, we can actually go through some of these areas now. The untamed downs. We have the Untamed Downs Meditation Point, so let's just, uh... Travel over to that, I guess. Okay. light down there. Okay, well we can get through here now. So we have our we have like the dash. Yeah, let's see. A crude sign that attempts to ward off any who would seek to delve further into the cave. Stay out danger within. No priorite. Oh then there's definitely prior right here. Fuck you. Oh, shit. fair anymore. Alright, another skill point. Uh, I guess we're climbing up out of here then. I mean, I don't see any twinkling. I don't see any, like, priorite or anything. I'm sure there might be something at the end. Maybe they weren't lying. Maybe there is no prior right. Pickaxe, though. Sounds like it was pretty crowded down here. 
the feeding grounds. By some twist of ge uh, geography or fate, three of Kobo's grass predators are repeatedly drawn to this feeding ground. Perhaps the uh, propensity of smaller creatures or foolhardy prospectors brought them, uh, but what is certain is that these three apex beasts will feed no matter what. Well, they won't be anymore. They did. Alright. Well, that led us back out to there. So... It's pretty much where we need to go, but if we leave here... There's some stuff near us. Hey, Tim. Let's take a ride, BD. All right, so the first one is this, like this one behind back here. This is where all the uh, the bombs are, isn't it? Stay safe, you hear? So now we can get back here. Something else that's red back here. God damn it. creature and it's now disappeared so yeah we're uh <clears throat> we're not able to get through this what'd you find nice job ambitious but ill-fated the gondola carts were intended to plumb deep into Kobo's subterranean network in search of priorite and other treasures costs however proved too exorbitant uh, exorbitant when the roller mines began bizarrely malfunctioning. The operation was seized and abandoned. So we could get back here now, but <clears throat> we can't get past the other door. It's just a it's just another like example of they keep Let's move, just baby. nonsense. They just keep up with this nonsense. Where it's like, oh, well, now you can get into here, but you can't go all the way through. Because, you know, there's all this other shit that you have to find uh, enable to in order to, to get through there. <clears throat> it's just a, a back and forth. It's just so much more back and forth. You know, it's, I don't know. Is there going to be anything in here that we can find? Maybe we should take up prospecting, huh, BD? Uh, priorite shard, I guess. We can't open those that chest yet. This is Mountain Ascent. Where's the one that we came from? Oh, well, there is this one. 
Oh, we can get. Well, oh, that's right. We can actually get up past that uh, that fan now because we have the the boost. Well, you guys aren't going to find nothing. Oh, shit. A massive explosion. All right. God fucking damn it. There we go. Uh, guess here. That looks about right. Pull that down. That Jawa I saw. Yeah, it is. Uh, hi. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Hey, I appreciate it. Oh, you know, Jawa doing something nice for once. So being a little thieving bastard. But before I continue, let's go in here. All right. Check it out, BD. Prior right. I not go over there? Oh, I turn the camera. Is there like a, a back jump? See, like, circle lets shit go. Like a drop. There's definitely like an area over there. Hey, okay. I don't know if that. I don't know if we can make that. Okay, can't. I use these. Move back and forth.
raiders. I'm trying to destroy the camp. There you are. That looks like a It is. I see you. You're brave to cross us. Oh boy, there are more. Better catch up. Oh shit. Well, villages can live in one of these crawlers. Traveling across planet. The enormous crawler vehicles were originally created as mobile mining and smelting factories designed to withstand the harsh conditions of frontier planets. Over time, however, they became favorites of the Jawa species native to Tatooine who used their vast space to store their wares as well as house their entire clan. The Jawas who found their way to Kobo built a crawler in the style of the ones they remembered from their home. And it's as a single unit. But this one doesn't look like it's moved in a while. Hello. Are you all okay? Not sure what that means, but you all look safe. If you need any supplies, you should stop by the Ramblers Reach Outpost. Yeah. See you around. I recruited a Jawa. Jawa seem pleased, huh? They're gonna steal all my shit. Maybe they're happy they have somewhere to do business. Reese is gonna love this. I hate Jawas. They're just like. They're little thieves. All they do is steal shit. They take what's not theirs. Oh, we're taking some shit from them now, so fuck them. I don't know, they're just like, they're just little thieving bastards. All they do is just steal shit from people, like, you ever seen, like, uh, every Star Wars film that has a Jawa, they just take shit. Uh, Mandalorian, they stole all of Mando's ship parts. Like, they're a bunch of assholes. I want to try to see if I can get... I want to try to see if I can get over to the, uh, that other side... Okay. Because there's clearly, like, something over here. And I would really like to see what it is. Jesus, it's like stuck. So I, I'll just like jump from here. Here we go. Ah, here we are, a chest. Genosian legs. My leg. Oh shit. All right, so now we'll have to climb back.
I love this dash. I really have to say I love the dash. It's just, it's such a, like, a much nicer way to traverse anything. Alright, hello, Tim. Alright, now that we've timmed it up. Oh, there's actually something up here. Hold on. The shortcut. There's actually a little... Where is it? What's down here? So hard to see. Oh, another priorite. Hey, look at this. So to buy everything at her store, I understand that you actually need all of the fucking priorite, which is actually pretty insane if you ask me. fact that you have to find all of it yeah maybe I will okay um <clears throat> so there's this little thing down here it's like hazard All this stuff over here is still red, so... Uh, we have this, like, beam area over here, which is, like, from this area that we were at at one point. So let's, uh, let's get back to this meditation point. Figure out where we can go next. What do, you want to, what do you want to scan? What do you want to scan this let's guy? Take a look. Missing data? The fuck? Is that... Uh, okay. I don't know if that's a bug or what. Jump. I have no clue. But anyway. A forest array. I think this is like the only... Only area out there. We can go to the forest array real quick. See uh, how we get through that. I know we haven't done a lot of story in this, but I guess the fun is kind of in exploring. All right, so oh, it's like a. I need a stem. I did not need a stem. I meant to do this. actually nothing to put this on.
How am I supposed to... I have no idea. Focus. Alright, well... Regardless. We got some skills. Let's see. I mean, I guess we can get the, uh... Cross guard. The last cross guard. That's three fucking points. It's two. Yeah, let's do let's do this. Why not? I still want to know how to do this like precision thing. Assuming it's in my abilities. Precision evade. Oh, I was standing still. Ready to go? Alright, well, where are we going? Uh, what is the... Mountain Ascent? No. What? Oh, Mountain Ascent has a green thing as well. Okay. Maybe we'll go, maybe we can go there first. Uh, Mountain Ascent. Is this where the, uh, the Stormtrooper door was? That, like, op we convinced the guy to open, and then there was the green one behind it? Yeah, it is. Hi. Still resisting. Unwise. Ah, uh, well, I fucked that up. Oh, there's Scuba Steve down there. Oh shit. You guess another fish? Am I? Bomber pants. Be useful in the garden. Pollution yellow. BD, look. The meditation chamber. Ooh. Shall we? All right, well, let's talk to Scuba Steve I'm first. In the ferocious me. Uh, did you know the me was the very first fish we scuba caught? That must have been quite a day. Hey, I was barely ye high back then. Little scuba swam headlong into the creature's mouth. He's getting it for us. Yep, there he goes. Me fish. Uh, the me fish is a deceiver. It presents. 
in a gregarious fashion, all wide fins and bright colors, but past the uh, ostentatious exterior is a vicious, daring predator. Its mouth, which protrudes from its flat body, is lined with hundreds of small but razor-like teeth, which savages the smaller fish upon which it feeds. They also have been known to frequently draw blood from those who try to catch them. No bare flesh is safe from the me fish. But, plucky as I was, I could they digest me before fishing fellows pulled us out. Sounds more like it caught you. Hey, it takes me back. <laughs> Stick around, boy, and I'll top us off with a tail. All right. The tale continues. When we last spoke, I warned of the grapnel's arrival. That great ship came descending on us like an anchor cut in the deep. Ne'er a more fearsome ship did you clap by on. She was sharp, like a... Like a... Like a fish. Like the nose of a bony fish. She had three great claws. Aye, the, the landing gear. But when her great jaws parted... Aye, aye, the loading ramp. Now, now, will you hush and let's go and tell the story? <sighs> Her great jaws parted, disgorging her dread crew. A more vile pack of fisher folk yet never did see. And led by the vilest of them all. Captain One Yet Wet. The bearded bezel is back that he intended to fish in our waters. Trophy hunters they were, in search of the most rare catches. Well, we Sakavians refused. We had the great famine to contend with, see? Every fish was precious. But the ferocious captain didn't care for our troubles. With a belch, he produced from his creel a mighty harpoon. Wait, cried Wee Scuba, hopping off of his rock. I know these waters like the taste of my own tongue. There'll be few fish beneath yon ice. But, continued I, if you take me with you, and if you leave my village be, show you how to coax the rarest of fishes onto your line. Aye. The dread captain stroked his briny beard. After a long moment, he held out his hand and grinned most terribly. Lord, said he, you be a mock. I'll be requiring another from a crew, one who knows the curve of the sea. Oh, Cal. If I could only go back to that moment when I shook Captain Wet's rigid hand, for me I'd never stepped off my wee rock. But my encounter with Undan had given me a taste for the unknown. I couldn't resist the call of adventure, and I had to save my people. So, I left with the grapnel, thinking the business done. I would be a fisher for Captain Wet. Of course, my adventure had only begun. For just when the grapnel hit orbit. More trouble, I take it? Ah, but I've hammered on long enough. I come back another time and I'll, I'll tell you more. <laughs> Wanyak wet. When the foreign fishing crew arrived to plunder Scavi, uh, uh, Scavi Tar's seas, Scuba struck a deal. He would lend them his talents on the condition they would never fish in his home world. Home world. He joined the crew and set off on the grapnel. Starship captain by Bile... Uh, Basilisk called Wanyak Wet. Huh. Alright, well. Welcome, Jedi. Our problems are often matters of perspective. By shifting our position, so too moves our thinking, and thus by reframing it, a problem may not seem so vexing after all. <laughs> Sounds familiar. All right, well, this is where we'll start next time, so take care, everybody. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.